hello everyone it's me asml welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and hope that you all are nice in the first week of the new year happy new year to all so let's start the tutorial today i'll edit this photo actually i'll color grade this photo into camera filter and then we'll just go into this and i'll show you this one step by step how to make this one nicely done press ctrl or command j or you can drag and drop in this plus sign you can get another copy of this layer after that going to the filter and then camera filter so this one is another plugins in photoshop i'm using camera 15.1 then i'll make this one a little bit of change and color grading like that at first going to the color mixture so this one is the vital point or vital menu because of all the color you are getting over there here is hue saturation luminance hue which color will be defined with the hue that means here red i can change the red color like this and here is green you can change the green like this and then aqua you can change the aqua like this so like that and blue you can change it up and saturation percentage of the color so you can change up the percentage of the color like this and like this and here is the luminance you can change up the luminance of green like this and the saturation i'll make it down and yellow i'll make it down like that but i'll use a little bit of green okay that's nice and now after that going to the luminance and green luminance i'll make it a little bit of like that that's good and here the face color is orange you can go for the orange and make this one um, the luminance a little bit above the face will pop up or don't make it too much because of uh, the highlight will be overexposed and here the red one and now i'll go to the color grading options here is three points shadow midtone and the highlight shadow here is saturation that means the percentage of the color giving that 10 percent that means 10 and you can change up the color of all i want to make this one a little bit of bluish or dramatic like that that's good and then here the mid-tone here i'll make the saturation 10 and the hue it should be like that mid-tone and then the highlight highlight tone what will be it defines with this and the saturation 10 percent and hue you can change up this so a little bit of subtle change and now i'll go to the calibration options from here here is the hue of the blue primary you can change it up but i'll change it up a little bit that's fine here is the saturation i'll make this one 10 percent that's good and the hue over there the green primary colors and here is the saturation 10 percent that's good and the red primary saturation 10 percent and hue which hue will be in this portion green should be like that from the basic panel i'll make this one a little bit of uh, like cool tone and like that exposure a little bit of down and the contrast a little bit of up and here highlight a little bit of down and here the dehaze i'll make this one like that and going to the curve over there and here is the curve i'll lock it up and lock it up make this one a little bit up and making this one like that that's good and here the blacks like that i'll make the blacks like that and from here i'll go to the detail option i'll add some noise reduction that's good and from the basic options i'll add some contrast like that that's good and the shadow should be like that okay that's fine and the white like that and here the vibrance i'll make the vibrance a little bit up down and here going to the color mixture again and the saturation of the green is good but hue you can change it up green hue should be like that the luminance i'll make the green luminance a little bit up down like that you can save these settings going to the save settings and save it up and you can save it out uh, like uh, you can make the green urban and save it out and hit ok so going to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 i do love to use that because of here lots of filters to use in the photos here i'm using the cross processing from here you can go for any sort of nice i would suggest you to use this one l03 and the percentage will be 40 percent and then hit ok it will take time to apply the settings and it will provide you the final output that will be amazing i believe so after that going to the 
levels options from here i'll add just a little bit of these and then finally i'll go to the curve from here cause of curves just make this one matte color and select once over there and a little bit of curve like that that's fine and now again i'll go to the color lookup options from here i'll use the another one which is the candle light and i'll make the opacity a little bit of down and then the fill 77 percent so subtle change let's see the before one the image was like that and after one you're getting the artistic image which is really nice and amazing and Hope that you learned a lot from this video. That's all for today. And until the next video is signing out today. Happy New Year to all. Bye-bye.